What's up world, I'm Mr. Jane Jacobs and welcome to another episode of Rich and Ratchet Kitchen, gourmet quality food at ghetto ass prices. And on today's episode, I'm gonna show you a Northwest favorite, better than chicken noodle soup. I'm wearing my sweater, honey, because guess what? It is sweater weather and I am ready to make some pho, okay? Not pho, not pho, but pho, okay? As in fun, because we're gonna have some fun today, all right? You know, this is my favorite to make on Sunday, pho day, get me. So what I love about pho is the fresh vegetables that you just kind of put into the soup. And so for me, all you have to do is it's easy preparation. You just chop up some cilantro, green onions, oh, whatever. <laughs> you slice up some jalapenos for that heat. You get a lime and then Thai basil. And then don't forget the bean sprouts, honey. Okay, do not that. That's secret ingredient right there. But going back to the Thai basil, it's different from normal basil that you get from the store, like uh, that you use on like a prese salads. Uh, with Thai basil, to identify it, it has a purple stem, and it has like a little bit more stronger taste to it, kind of more like a the, the the bite of a cilantro, right? That kind of like whew, kind of opens up your the the flavors in your mouth. So. This is what I love about all the um, ingredients here is that, you know, when I'm feeling down, sick, you know, it's bringing all those comforts together. I know that I'm eating well with all the vegetables and the soup base and the broth. Oh my God, girl. Like that is what I love about pho and that is what you're gonna love about pho. So the first step into making pho is the broth and that is like the essence of this whole soup base. So for me, I put um, a beef knuckle, right? A cow knuckle um, that I got from a farmer of mine out in Edgewood, Washington, uh, that's like grass fed and organic. I put that in a slow cooker overnight just to kind of like make the broth, right? And get the marrow going. So that is what I used in mine. You could also use like instant pho paste if you don't, um, if you don't, if you're short on time, right? But for me, I like quality and you know, I'm gonna you know, have a Sunday pho day, right? And just kinda like have it over the whole weekend. So I just put in like a little beef knuckle, right? <laughs> and beef bone and let the marrow sit and take out all the essence and that makes it concentrated, right? So for me, I like to know where my broth is coming from. And so I have a farmer that has it. So the broth is just one part of the soup base. So while that's going in the slow cooker, I like to chop up some garlic, onions, and shallots. And what I like to do is then brown it into the actual soup pot so that it actually brings out more of the flavor of the vegetables. And then once, um, once I have the broth going, I actually ladle it in to uh, the soup pot. And that for me is like to really kind of bring the flavors together of both the beef and the vegetables and to kind of get that going. simmering in the background, kind of like fusing all together with the fresh ingredients of the vegetables, sauteed vegetables, and the broth. We're gonna prepare all the fixins, right? The fixins. So the main, like the base of it is the pho noodles. And I like to order mine fresh or get mine fresh from the Asian store. And then as you can see, uh, you just kind of grab a handful of it and we're gonna just throw it into boiling water and just let it simmer for about like three minutes or so, three to five minutes. And then from there, we're gonna take it out of the water and place it into just the soup bowl that we have. So now that we prepared the pho noodles, the next step is to prepare the beef that's gonna go right on top of it. So I like to cut up a round like bottom roast of beef into bite-sized pieces. And we're actually gonna use the same water that we used for the pho noodles for the meat. And we're gonna blanch it to medium well. From there, we're just gonna like pour it right on top, pour it right on top of the pho noodles and that'll be the base. So the remainder of this, uh, so it's gonna cook and it's gonna have some pink or gonna have, uh, you know, it's gonna look a little rare to you. But once you add the soup base to it, it'll help cook the process as you're eating it as you go, okay? So to prepare your bowl of pho uh, with all the fixings, grab whatever you like. This is my favorite part. So I just like to throw in a smattering of everything. So just pick off your pieces of basil 
and you just throw it right on top. Get some bean sprouts. I like to squeeze a lime in it. There. And then just kind of pick off some cilantro. And just like all of the smells of the fresh vegetables are amazing as we kind of build this, right? And then green onions here as well. So this for me, favorite. And then now that you have your bowl prepared, it is now time to get the soup broth and just kind of like pour it all over. Pour it all over, okay? Because this is like, I'm excited to eat this. It's, it's going down. It's going down right now. So here it is all put together. Oh my goodness. Just everything together is delicious. The last part, okay, so grab your chopsticks and your Asian spoon. I like to throw in just a little bit of spices, right, to make it, to add more kick and flavor to it, right? So this is just kind of some red chili sauce. Throw in some sriracha. I need to get, as you can tell, I use it a lot because it's almost empty. Need to go to the Asian store again. And then some hoisin sauce. And there you have it. So this right here, this right here is delicious. So now for the taste test. So I'm just gonna grab some noodles. Grab a little bit of noodles. Throw it onto your Asian spoon. And this is kind of like the proper way to not the proper way, what I was taught, right? So you kind of just like pile on a little bit of everything into uh, the little Asian spoon. So whatever you want in it. Let me grab some vegetables. Where's my jalapenos? I need to look for some jalapenos over here. Let me just throw that right there. Boom. And then dip it back into the bowl. And there we have it. The flavors all come together in this beautiful bowl of uh, great for any type of weather. When you're feeling cozy, throw this on, put on some, you know, Netflix, whatever you want. This is what I like to do. Oh, it's a little spicy. But this is what I like to do on my days when I'm lazy. Oh my gosh, why is it so spicy? But I love it. <clears throat> but this is what I like to do. Uh, it's just kind of throw in a pot of, uh, for the weekend. So there you have it. As you can tell, I'm loving it. So as always, be proud, be courageous, and be unlimited. And if you like this episode, go ahead and like, follow, subscribe to MrJaneJacobs.com and see what I cook up next.